Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. My name is Coaster Chow, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Where today we're going to be speaking on the official uh, variations of train designs for the Poltergeist refurbishment project at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. So, basically, what's been going on is we've got a variation, we've got three different variations of train designs. And basically they've showed off, or well, the park president showed off on a Facebook group called Thrill Seekers United, um, three different variations of train design where the park guests can choose from uh, for the refurbishment. So we're going to show all three of them in this video and, and, and analyse all three of them in a bit more detail. We're also going to offer you a bit of facts and stats about the ride for those of you who are new to the channel and thinking, is Poltergeist guys just a ghost? It isn't, it's a coaster as well. Uh, but before we get started with everything that's going on, please like the video if you're new around here. Please subscribe if you're new around here. Click the location bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Comment down below your thoughts about it. Like the video if you've loved it as well, not just because you're new around here. Also, guys, uh, check the description down below for social media links and the um, Google Forms link where you can submit your own ideas for the channel. I'll record them and get them in a video. And for now, guys, let's have a look at exactly what's going on with Six Flags Fest Texas and the different variations of train design for Poltergeist. But before that, here's some facts about the ride. So Poltergeist first opened on the 28th of May 1999. It's an LIM launch coaster by Premier Rides. It has a length of 2,705 feet, a height of 78.8 feet, a speed of 60 miles per hour, a duration of 1 minute 15, pulling 4.5 Gs of force with four inversions, a cobra roll, a sidewinder and a corkscrew alongside that LIM launch. Now, the restraints are an individual ratcheting lap bar with the arrangement of trains with two trains with six cars per train, Riders arranged two across in two rows for a total of 24 riders per train. Now, initially, Poltergeist had over the shoulder restraints when it opened back in 1999, but for the 2002 season, these restraints were replaced with the lap bars, the individual ratcheting lap bars. Now, of course, Poltergeist is going through a major refurbishment. If you've already had your last rides on it, then I'm sorry, but the ride has already been closed. Uh, so, very interesting there, but let's have a look at the individual variations of train designs of the three the park guests are allowed to choose from. So right now on your screen, Fandabby Dozy is option A, number one, with the green, grey and black colour scheme. Now one of the positives here is I like the, the faded in ghost figure on the front of the carriage. I think that's a really nice thing to go for uh, on the front there. I think the green stripe gives it a bit more colour, a bit more flavour as well. I think that kind of works a little bit well. The negative with me about this one is the colour of the restraint. Now I'm not too sure if they'd be the final colour of the of the of the individual ratcheting lap bars, but uh, I could be wrong. Uh, but from the looks of that picture, if it's anything to go by with the picture, I would not want to see orange on those restraints. I probably want to see like a green or the grey. Uh, probably the green. I'd probably go with the green over the grey uh, for the restraint colours. But uh, if they are going to be orange, then that's going to be a real negative for me with this particular option. Option B. Again, the restraint colour is orange which again is a negative it's the same color on all three options so uh, i wouldn't really look into that uh but with this one i like this i like the look of this one i like the uh the artistic style of the poltergeist on the front carriage i like the sort of uh ripple effect outside of the face that's sort of like a sharp um you know darkness rising sort of ripple effect outside of the uh the, the frame the the head frame uh sort of spreading and swarming uh over the rest of the carriage nearly about halfway through each side and you've got this nice big um black grayish stripe sort of across the the light gray to white carriage uh so overall option b again is a really nice style and then finally, option C on your screen now, Fan Dabby Dozy. Uh, and again, it's a pretty similar style to uh, option B, but the, the sort of white and that's been replaced by green. And uh, you've still got the, the black greyish stripe. You've still got the, the black greyish swarm of the ripple effect behind the head frame. Uh, you've still got the, uh, the sort of dark grey hair of the poltergeist ghost head on the front of the garage. you still got the orange restraints, like I said earlier. Um, and I think overall, that's very interesting as well. So, uh, here is uh, my potential uh, thoughts on this. And also, what option I would choose. 
So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seekers of All Ages. That is speaking about the Poltergeist train designs. Now, first of all, I want to take away option A because I feel like that just isn't leveling up with option B and C right now in terms of artistic creativity. Option A is still very, very good. It's different to option B and C, but I just don't think it's on par with option B and C. So I'm going to put that one to one side. So we've got option B, which is the uh, the light grey, whitey carriage with the, the dark grey, uh, the black mixed in with the swarmish um, spray paint swarming across the rest of the carriage nearly. And you've got option C, where it's pretty much the same as option B, but the light grey to white has been replaced by the green. So, obviously, you know, it's a difficult choice because you've got, you've got pretty much the same design but different colour schemes for option B and C. If you want my advice, I would personally go with option B because I've, I've just got this feeling when they're going to repaint the colour scheme of the train. I think that, uh, sorry, the cars and the, sorry, they're going to repaint the, the track. I think the option B would probably work better on the repainted track. So, I mean, I'd, I'd have both cars. I'd maybe have that one as like a second train if you, if you could operate a second train. Uh, but I think that primarily you get option b in my opinion so uh, i personally go for option b I, ju I just have this artistic connection to it uh, but what do you think do you want option a option b or option c so whenever you put a comment down below if it's just that comment in particular or you just want to comment something else but include this at the end of your comment if you want to vote uh do the hashtag hashtag option a or hashtag option b or hashtag option c uh, I'll probably do a poll on this as well, so if you don't want to put it in the comment section, you can also uh, put it in the poll, which I should have on the channel at this point. So, uh, go on over there to the poll, go on the community page, we post loads of stuff on the community page, uh, photos of behind the scenes, uh, personal photos of mine, um, any stuff that's happening with the channel, any updates, any written updates that's happening with the channel over the weeks. Uh, go over there, check out the community page, interact with all the posts, and it would really mean a lot. So, I'm gonna, I put a poll out there. Go and vote on it if you haven't already. Either option A, option B, or option C. What would you choose? Uh, so, there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you subscribe if you are new around here. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep them in the coast of life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a Six Flags-tastic day.